Yesterday, October 16th, marked the 25th anniversary of the Million Man March. Several black men from San Antonio traveled along with thousands from all over the country to Washington, D.C. to march for change within their communities. Today, I spoke with one of those men who participated in the march, who has footage of that historic moment to share with today's generation. At the time period, they were giving out statistical data like one in every four black men has had a criminal record being arrested or this or that. That's a problem. Minister Farrakhan called us out. Friday marked the 25th anniversary of the Million Man March in Washington, D.C., a historical event spearheaded by religious leader Louis Farrakhan. Minister uh, Farrakhan said, we need to gather up all of you guys to kind of have this day of atonement for your sins and then utilize that and make it into something positive so that you can go back out into your communities and be better servants. At the march, historical black figures like Maya Angelou, Rosa Parks, and more were present, speaking words of encouragement and motivation to the African-American community. Leo Edwards participated in that march. To be among one million men, to affirm that this day moving forward, we're going to make a difference. He and his brother, Anthony Edwards, decided to make a documentary for the March's 25th anniversary using images and videos Leo captured in 1995. You were part of a, a, a social movement that synergy-wise brought people together. Though many had differing opinions about Farrakhan and his spiritual beliefs, the one thing the documentary highlights is despite everyone's religious backgrounds, they all came together for one purpose that is still needed today, change. These men who had the courage to go and to learn have come back and they have made a difference in the community. The two brothers say their biggest goal behind the documentary was to pay it forward for those who have fought for our change in our history and to encourage the youth to continue to use their voices for good. To see the documentary yourself, all you got to do is visit this story on our website at ksat.com.